Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dan the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to retract your rear brake caliper with a electronic parking brake. This happens to be on a 2017 Honda CRV, but I've used this method on a few other cars as well. Now, the first thing you need to do is, of course, take off the caliper just like you're doing a regular brake job and disconnect this little plug right here. Okay, so we just need to get a screwdriver in here and just pop this if I can. There we go. It's a little tricky, but that that will just come out. All right, so I've just got this sitting right here, and you can see I've got my electrical connector taken off. And all we need to do is put a 12-volt power source to this motor, and that will spin it and uh, spin it in. Now we're still gonna need to use a special tool to compress this the rest of the way, but internally we just need this to go all the way in so that we can turn it and compress it. What I'm gonna do is just, uh, I've just got a couple little mini alligator clips here. And these clips are probably not the best. If you had some little terminals would be better so that, just to make sure that they don't touch each other. You see they're just clipped inside there. And then I've got this one draped up here so that these two won't touch. And then I've got the, uh, the black one clamped in here. I'll show you, I'm just using a, uh, a car battery over here that I'm connected to. But you can use really any 12 volt source. And when I connect this next one, it'll do one of two things. It's gonna push, push this caliper piston outward towards us, or it's just gonna, you're gonna hear it making noise without it moving at all. And that means internally it's spinning back in. And it'll get to a certain point, then this will start to spin and that's when we can go to our specialty tool, our, you know, our caliper wind back tool, and we can push that the rest of the way in. So let's go ahead and, and connect it and see what happens here. All right, so you can hear the motor running, but it's not moving. So that means it's going the correct direction. Just for the sake of uh, showing you what it might look like if it goes the other way, I'll go ahead and, and swap these here. So now I've got red to the black and black to the red here, so you'll see it. You hear it pushing back out to where it was and see now you can see it coming towards us. So that way at least you know what direction you need to go. So in our case it's just red to red, black to black on our on our battery here with these two terminals. I've got uh, positive in the bottom one and, and the negative or ground in the top one here. Well, this is upside down, but you, can, you, you know what I'm talking about. And then we'll just reconnect that. And then listen to the motor. And then eventually when it gets back in, this will start to turn. Okay, as soon as it starts to turn, you can disconnect it. Now we just need to use our, our caliper wind back tool and I'll show you what that looks like too. Uh, we can disconnect these leads. This right here, this set, uh, and this is the one I'm gonna be using. It's just a standard thread or you're just gonna be turning this in or clockwise. And the, the piece that I'm using in this kit is F and that just lines up, lines up here with the face of this caliper. See, it's got these two little cutouts or grooves, and this little pin just kind of, these two pins just fit right in there. So we'll just put this in our tool and set it up like this. And then we'll just turn this out to where it's snug up against the caliper. And then now all we need to do is turn this in. And you kind of just snug that as you go. I just kind of got it propped in here and I've got uh, the lower bolt in just to hold this steady while I turn this in but the rest of the way. But it's it's very stiff still because you're turning that motor at the same time. But if you try to do this without, uh, without backing off that electronic motor first, you won't be able to push it all the way in. Okay, that looks good. All right, and then we can pull this tool off. And that's just a simple method I've used to retract a rear brake caliper with an electronic parking brake. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.